Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto markets. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some fundamental narratives that are driving mass adoption for cryptocurrency and specifically Bitcoin, such as nation states adopting Bitcoin and making it legal tender in their country. We'll also be taking a look at the Bitcoin price chart so that you know what is to come next so you can prepare yourselves for whatever does happen. So if you are new to the crypto empire, be sure to smash that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below, share it with your friends, make sure all bell notifications are turned on, and let the gains be with you. So to start out this video, let's take a look at the market cap as a whole to see where we are at. Bitcoin is currently trading at $36,391. It did take a very significant dip last night to about $32,000, but recovered very quickly. As you can see, we are up 12% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum trading at $2,578. Binance Coin, $366. Bucks. Cardano, $161. I do want to point your attention to Kusama, at number 29 in market cap, trading at $463. Crowd loan parachain auctions have started for Kusama. Kurora is live right now. Kurora will be the DeFi hub of Kusama. I'll be releasing my video showing you how to lock your Kusama tokens up later on. So if you are new, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Empire so you know how to do that. But just know that if you submit your Kusama within the next two days, you will get 10% extra Kurora tokens. So that is why Kusama is an absolute beast defying everything else in the market at this point in time. Definitely be aware of that. It is a huge fundamental narrative. So now before we get into some of the groundbreaking world shifting headlines, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin price chart so that you guys have a better idea overall of what is happening. So first of all, I want to point your attention to this large gray area that I have shaded here all the way from about 42K down to about 28.5K. So this is what I call the chop zone. This is where Bitcoin is accumulating. The same exact price levels were respected back in January and February for Bitcoin. And this is where Elon Musk did actually purchase his Bitcoin. And now this huge green candle here was the Elon Musk news that announced that he put $1.5 billion onto Tesla's balance sheet in Bitcoin. So we're back in this chop zone and we have been just chopping around and we were in a symmetrical triangle. We did break down from the symmetrical triangle. I'm going to drop this down to a four hour on the price chart. We did actually break down from this symmetrical triangle and right here about the $31,000. This is an absolutely key level on the price chart and I will show you why it has several Fibonacci retracement levels confluencing with each other. First of all, we have the 88.6 with this measured move of the rally back up here after the initial crash, right? So from this local low to this local high here, it coincides perfectly with the 88.6. And as you can see, price respected it absolutely perfectly. So key level here, it does also line up with a higher time frame golden pocket. I'll show you that right now. We can go ahead and take the all time high of Bitcoin at $65,000 and take it down all the way to where we were in September at around $10,000 on the chart. And we can see that the golden pocket, the 61.8 retracement level, is perfectly at that $31,000 price level. That price did just respect perfectly. And as we can see here, with all of the times that this golden pocket has been tested over here and as well as over here, this is an absolutely key level on the chart. And now we do have to be careful here. And I do believe that if we break down completely from this golden pocket, meaning we have a daily candle close below the $29,000, $28,000 price level, really beneath this low here at, at $29,500, if we have a daily close beneath this level, I would exercise extreme caution in the markets. But until that does happen, as long as we stay within this gray chop zone, I'm saying that we are in an accumulation phase. And I do think that market conditions will continue to be choppy for the weeks to come. 
I don't think we will see Bitcoin recover all the way back up to the $50,000, $60,000 price levels just yet, even though there are some insane bullish narratives happening right now, such as El Salvador passing a bill in their Congress to make Bitcoin legal tender, meaning Bitcoin is money now in El Salvador. So let's actually hop right into this. So this is absolutely huge. If you don't understand the implications of this event, I will briefly explain. Essentially, Bitcoin is a very scarce asset. There's only 21 million Bitcoins that will ever be in existence. It's estimated that anywhere from three to five million Bitcoins are lost, meaning only about 18 to 16 million are in circulation. And now we have countries, nations, making Bitcoin legal tender, meaning Bitcoin is money. As we can see here, the president of El Salvador saying the Bitcoin law has been approved by a supermajority in the Salvadorian Congress, 62 out of 84 votes, passed the bill to make Bitcoin legal tender. So... I do expect a lot of other countries in South America to follow suit. And then don't forget, there's countries in the Middle East, Asia, everywhere in the world globally, the, the economics are completely in ruin. The U.S. doesn't see it yet because we have the Federal Reserve keeping everything kind of suppressed. They're not essentially explaining things how they really are, right? They hide a lot from the public. So people don't really understand how distraught the U.S. economy is just yet with inflation and the likes, right? But South America, they've been feeling that pain for years. Venezuela, completely upside down. So now the fact that El Salvador was the first country to, is the first domino to fall. And as we know with dominoes, after the first one falls, it's just like, they all fall down. So I do expect a lot of other countries to follow suit. This is huge. So we can read a little bit about the bill here. The bill includes a list of interesting proposals such as zero capital gains, tax on Bitcoin, tax payments allowed in Bitcoin, and economic agents must accept BTC as payment when offered by whoever acquires a good or service. So Bitcoin is money. This is the reason Bitcoin was created in the first place. So now moving on, we can see that Mexico lawmakers aim to follow the example of neighboring countries with proposed Bitcoin legislation. So like I just said, like the U.S. wants to try to control this narrative, like the Western worlds, the Western countries want to make it seem like this is such a bad thing, right? They're spreading FUD in the media. But obviously, you can't stop what's coming. You cannot stop this. And the more that the U.S. stifles the innovation and adoption of cryptocurrency, the more far behind they will be. So another very interesting thing, all these politicians from South America are adopting the laser eyes for Bitcoin. Super crazy to see. Um, but yeah, guys, we are at the forefront of the biggest financial revolution in the history of the world. I'm very happy and grateful that I'm able to present this news to you here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being subscribed to Crypto Empire and having that bell notification turned on as well and sharing this video with your friends because this is so huge. I really can't even put it into words. Moving on, we just talked about the U.S. a little bit. So the IRS needs congressional authority to handle crypto, says Chief. Most crypto virtual currencies are designed to stay off the radar screen. Oh no. Internal Revenue Service Chief Charles Rittig called out lawmakers for not taking the initiative on addressing the problem of many U.S. residents not paying taxes on crypto. So the U.S. just wants to get their cut and not allow the economy to flourish the way it can and really just stifle the innovation of cryptocurrency. They just really don't want to see it succeed. Um, it's really sad to see. It really super is sad to see. And like I said earlier in this video, the, the longer that they take to adopt this technology, the more far behind they will be. It's a shame. It really is a shame. So according to data from the IRS in October 2020, 83.6% of taxes were paid voluntarily and on time from 2011 to 2013. However, the Treasury Department has projected that the tax gap could reach roughly $7 trillion total over the next decade should the government fail to take action. So we do know that the Federal Reserve controls the money supply in the United States. The Federal Reserve is a private entity. They have nothing to do with the United States government. What they do is they lend the U.S. dollar to the federal U.S. government. So the U.S. government goes into debt from the Federal Reserve, they go into debt. So they owe the Federal Reserve the money that they create, that they borrow from the Fed. And then they essentially go and spend that on all kinds of things that don't really benefit the US. Um, it's, 
sad, super sad. So here we say that they're saying there's going to be seven trillion dollars lost from taxes. Meanwhile, they're printing six trillion dollars, two trillion dollar stimulus bill. They print trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars out of thin air, and they're freaking out that um, they're going to miss out on tax money when they can just create money out of thin air. Doesn't make any sense to me. Completely upside down. Completely backwards. It's an absolute shame to see. So also, we can see here on Wikipedia for the El Salvador page, if we come down here to currency, we can see on the Wikipedia page for El Salvador, Bitcoin is listed for currency. So amazing. I love to see it. And then as well, we have the president of El Salvador, Naib Bukele. He is rocking the blue laser eyes for Bitcoin on Twitter. And it's awesome that we see South American countries moving first and making Bitcoin their legal tender. It's opening up the floodgates. The rest of the world will follow suit. As much as the West wants to control the world, they have to understand that they really they, they can do everything they can, but we the people, we have the power. We make the decisions. And yeah, it's it's, it's gonna come down to this. They're gonna they're gonna do everything that they can to stop it, but I will keep on presenting this news here to you, keeping you in the loop, making sure that you stay prepared for whatever is to come. Remember for Bitcoin, if we close beneath this 29K level, 29,500 level, exercise extreme caution, but we're still in the chop zone. So as long as we are in the chop zone, I'm expecting sideways price action. Nothing too exciting will be happening. Again, crowd loans have started for Kusama. So I'll be making a video about that later on. So be on the lookout for that. You should have your Kusama ready already because this is an absolutely huge event. So many bullish narratives in crypto, but the powers that be really want to stifle it and suppress it as much as they can. But in the end, they will not succeed. Crypto will win, and we are here early capitalizing on the massive gains to be made. So even with all the crazy FUD in the media, Bitcoin continues to push forward with El Salvador announcing it as legal tender. They passed the bill in Congress, making it money in their country. Many other South American nations will be following suit very shortly. There is talks of Iran making Bitcoin legal tender as well. So the whole world is now adopting cryptocurrency. The Western nations are freaking out that they're losing their power over controlling the money supply. That time is coming to an end. We are at the forefront of history right now in cryptocurrency. So I hope you're excited as I am. I hope you've been preparing for what is coming because there are massive gains to be made. Remember, a lot of people got scared because of the downwards and choppy price action with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, and they sold their positions and exited. These are the people that will be FOMOing into the very large green candles when the market does fully recover. So I hope you're sticking with it. I hope you are not short-sighted. I hope you have that long-term vision for cryptocurrency just like we do here at Crypto Empire. If you are new to Crypto Empire, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you have all bell notifications turned on. Comment down below. Like this video. Share it with your friends. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and we will see you in the next video.